just a joke, by the way, guys. She's not smashing our furniture. Um, that lamp was a lamp that we bought, like, way back when we bought our house. It's a really nice lamp, but the dogs kind of tore it up. They chewed all over the bottom of it when they were puppies. So it was just time to get rid of it. It uh, doesn't really fit with our decor. And it put off, like, a really yellow light. So it was time to go. Time to smash it up and put it in the garbage can. All right, guys, what's up? Um, so in this clip, I was at my uncle's house doing some work for him. Um, this was the week I was laid off, so I was just kind of doing like some odd jobs here and there when I could get some. He recently injured his shoulder and hand, so I was kind of like helping him out. He had this pole barn built behind me and uh, getting ready to do the concrete, and he needed some rebar basically cut up into sections to fit. So he had this like old fencing that he was using, so I had to basically take the bobcat around the house, um, pick up a load of the fence, bring it back and then measure it and cut it out in 15 foot sections. Um, I didn't really record too much. I thought I did, but apparently I didn't. I don't know if I might have lost some clips, but here's the pole barn. Um, basically just cutting all the rebar to fit in here. And that's kind of what it looked like, but yeah. down getting this stuff um it's basically like rebar for concrete and we got to cut it in 15 foot sections and when he does the concrete this is you know what they lay down for the support this stuff kind of sucks to cut it sucks to work with this one's not as bad because it's thinner but man What's up guys, new day. Um, so the last clips you saw, I went to my uncle, well actually I already explained all that. I haven't yet, but I know I definitely will before I put those clips in. So today, um, I believe he actually wants some more help. Uh, he called me last night, but I was like half asleep, so I didn't end up answering. But um, today I am going to, actually one of Carol Ann's old friends, I'm not sure they talk too much anymore or what, but uh, they used to be good friends, um, her and her boyfriend or 
spouse, husband, I, maybe they're not dating, I don't know, I don't want to assume stuff, um, but they bought stuff to build a computer and they just want me to just kind of like supervise, I guess, you know, make sure they're doing it right, because it's, I don't want to say it's easy and downplay it, but like it's, a lot of times you think you did everything right, everything lines up, everything, you know, seems to go the way it should, but then you go to turn it on and like, it won't boot, you know, something doesn't work and it can be very tedious to troubleshoot and then it ends up being like, you know, one small wire that like is in the wrong spot or like I've even seen it before where the like the plugs that come with stuff are actually wired backwards, you know, so stuff like your average person might not catch, I guess. So I'm just going to go over there, help them um, kind of supervise, I guess she said she was going to pay me. So definitely don't mind that uh, just keeping the hustle going while I'm not at work I've pretty much like doing all these little odd jobs and like my clusters and stuff I've made actually I haven't made like a normal week's paycheck you know when I'm working six days a week like eight nine ten hours a day but I've made more than I've been making on these crappy four day paychecks so it's kind of nice um, you know I assume like if we did work it's probably gonna be a four day week so I theoretically made more than that, I guess, technically, but, uh, yeah, anyways, so, not to bore you guys to talk too damn much, but I'm almost there, luckily they live pretty close, and wow, I just almost watched a car accident, two cars pulling out and, like, almost turned right into each other, Jesus, there's this white car here and this, oh, you guys won't see the other one, but, damn, but yeah, I'm gonna hope, hopefully this doesn't take too long, um, We'll see, hopefully it's not too awkward. And the only reason it would be awkward is because I'm awkward, I'm shy, so yeah. All right guys, I will see you probably here in a second, but for me, it's gonna be a little bit. done and that took way longer than it should have um so it is i got there at like 11 it's like 2 30 right now i think so basically so i thought i she was talking to shelby at first like you know asking if i would help and stuff like that like she didn't message me so you know i was kind of like communicating with her through shelby and i thought i could be wrong but i thought she said like basically they just wanted me to like supervise you know like make sure that they don't you know mess anything up you know if they got questions on there but uh they ended up just like basically having me build it which totally fine i'm cool with that so basically like their case I, I don't know like every computer you build is different like sometimes you do like you know the processor and the the memory and then like install the motherboard in the case and then like the video card and the power supply like every case is different sometimes it generally just doesn't matter so i just do like the usual like i unbox the motherboard put the processor in it put the memory in it because that's all like small stuff that wouldn't really matter anyways and then i put the board in the case and then i installed the video card and then i was like all right let's get the cooler in there i put the fans on the radiator thinking that you know then we put the radiator up put the screws through the top nope the fans made it too thick with the motherboard, so I had to take the fans back off and then fish the radiator and the cooler like from the top down so the radiator was sitting on top and then screw the fans to it through the case, which like the radiator's in the case. Like I wanna, you know, make that make sense. The radiator's in the case, but like above like the top shelf or whatever. So it's like on top of the shelf and then the fans like come through the bottom. Um, and then, ended up having to take the radiator or the motherboard out because I couldn't get a couple of the fan screws in and then got those in, put the motherboard back in and basically everything went smooth from there. But uh, the Windows install was botched. Usually the way I do Windows is I will download a file like and they make like a bootable USB or whatever. They bought like an actual genuine like Windows installation USB drive or whatever which again is fine.
But for some reason, I could not get the PC to recognize the USB drive. So like I had to keep like rebooting it, changing the boot order, try it again, change it, try it again, change the USB drive or the the slot. Finally got it to work. Um, got it installed. And then if you've ever built a computer, you know, the fun part when you get Windows installed, you have update after update after update after update. And then all the drivers got to download. You know, if you've, if you built one, all the drivers got to download. So we did that. And then, um, I started doing the updates and then I go through like, you know, search for the drivers for the video card and the motherboard and you know, the one with the motherboard will kind of like update, like all of its drivers or whatever. So we did that. And then, um, they don't have a monitor yet. Like the monitor is supposed to be here, I think today or tomorrow. So we were just using their bedroom TV or whatever, plugged in with the HDMI cord into the video card. No, no issue whatsoever. It works. Um, but I started downloading all these drivers and then when you're messing with video card stuff, a lot of times your screen is going to flicker. Like it's going to come on and off and you know, just while you're updating the settings, it's totally normal. On this one, it flickered and then like the screen stayed off. But the thing was like, it's a TV, so it'll say like no, no signal detected or whatever. It wasn't saying that the screen was just dark. And then we would eventually hear like the windows, like little pop up update sounds or whatever. You could still hear it through the TV. So we're like, obviously it's connected. It must just be doing like a long update. So we sat there for like literally 20 minutes, like no exaggeration. And I like put my, cause their case is super tall from where I was sitting. So I put my hand up to see if like the little hard drive light was flashing. It was. I'm like, so obviously it's still doing stuff. Maybe it's just a really, really long update. And then eventually I'm just like, all right, this is, there's no way. So I turned it off and like, I didn't like hold the button. I just did like a soft turn off. So it wouldn't basically like if it was doing something, it wouldn't interrupt that. But if it was free or whatever, like it was shut off and it shut off. So I'm like, okay, it's not updating. What the hell? Press the power on screen comes back on. You know, we get back to the desktop. Everything's working. And then it says, you know, you must restart for these updates to take effect or whatever. And then there was one, another video driver thing that was, it was installing or whatever. So I'm like, well, I'll wait till that's done to restart. And then the screen goes dark again. And I'm like, what the hell? So I'm like, well, that thing was going pretty quick. So we'll let it sit for like two or three minutes. And then if it's not on, then, you know, there's something issues. So I ended up waiting like another 10, 15 minutes, nothing. So I turned it off again and it shut off. And then I turn it back on. The TV lights up black and green bars, like flashing. And then like no more display. And I'm like, uh oh, so I'm Googling stuff, turn it off, turn it back on. Same thing. And I'm like, this video card might be dead. And I'm like, if it was like, I would be frustrated if it was mine, but I'm like, I'm building this for somebody and it was just working. Like, why would it just randomly die? But I'm like, that's the only thing that was going through my head. I'm like, I think the video card might be dead because I was looking up stuff on Reddit and stuff like that. And there was just post after post after post about this specific model of video card, like being just dead, dead on, in the box or whatever, out of the box. And I'm like, but it worked. Like I, we were on the desktop for five or 10 minutes. So like, it wasn't dead out of the box, but like, can it die right away? And they had a, I think a 850 or 900 something watt power supply. So I'm like, the power supply is giving plenty of juice. So I'm like, let's try a different HDMI cord. Unplug it, plug a new one in, work just fine. So that entire like, I mean, it was literally probably about 40 minutes of troubleshooting. Just a bad HDMI cord. That was all it was. So then I go back, you know, to Windows Update, make sure everything's updating. And it downloaded probably like 10 updates or so. And it went pretty quick. But then it said... Um, your PC is missing, uh, quality and security updates or something like that, like vital ones or something. And I click check for updates, but it says there's no updates. It says your computer is up to date. And I'm like, so I'm troubleshooting that I'm going online. It says uninstall the last update and then reset it, reinstall it. And we did that. And that last update, like it would hang at 44% for like 10 minutes. And I was like, I don't know. I mean, I'm just sitting there waiting. She was like, well, if that's all you got to do, she's like, I can finish that. You know, you can get headed home. And I'm like, all right, yes, bet. Oh, and then I built that motorized bike. So 
um, if you guys remember like a couple years ago when me and Shelby bought bikes, um, like the cruisers, we bought like the cruiser ones or whatever. I got that big, I call it my Debo bike because it's, you know, like the big black frame. It's got like the curved handlebars. Kind of reminds me of the one Debo drive or rides in Friday or whatever. I bought my mountain bike, you know, because it's like when we were riding bikes, like I wanted a bike with gears, you know, something that could, you know, better to like work out on, I guess, versus the cruiser. So cruiser's been sitting and I was like, ooh, let me put a motor on it. So I bought that Amazon like 80cc bicycle motor kit, put it on there. And it kind of sucks to be honest with you. Like it's loud. Um, it's very fuel efficient. Like one little tank of gas lasts forever, but it's kind of hard to get started. It's not very fast. It's, I put on like the smallest sprocket you can buy, which gives you less torque, but more top speed, which means like I have to pedal more when I'm taking off, like, a bigger sprocket you could just take off with gas you know like with a throttle and not have to pedal but you're going to be maxed out at like 10 15 miles an hour a small sprocket you know smaller you have to like kind of help it out like start pedaling but then you know like give it gas but you'll go a lot faster you know top speed i was hitting like 25 and then now that it's kind of broke in like it kind of actually went down a little bit i was getting like 20 on a good long straight flat road um, I put that small sprocket on now I can get to about 25 and it's cool but it's just like it's so loud I don't like riding it for a long time um, and just about every time I ride it like I feel like I need to tweak something or adjust something or you know tighten this bolt again or replace this like I already had to buy like a new like little ignition box and spark plug and stuff for it so kind of want to sell that because i mean it's all like literally brand new flawless condition upgraded brakes and stuff so i'm thinking i'm going to sell that and then i have another one of those cruisers that's a long story i'm not going to get into that right now but i have another one of the exact same bikes brand new in the box let's just say i broke something on my bike so i ordered the whole same exact bike just to rob that one piece but ended up not even needing that so i want to sell that and then I want to take the other one I have and build an electric bike, which is like you replace the wheel. It's got a hub motor like right in the wheel. And then you've got a controller that it plugs into. You know, you've got your throttle, probably do like a like a thumb throttle and then a battery pack. And it just literally like three, four plugs, like one or two screws and like it's ready to go. And it, they got a ton of torque. They got a ton of power. Uh, most of them last a long time and they're almost dead silent like you could ride the thing in the middle of the night you're not going to bother your neighbors so i want to play with something like that um because the the gas one too like it kind of makes the bike unrideable um if you pull the clutch you can lock the clutch in so like it's not spinning the motor so you can just pedal it like a regular bike but with the extra weight and the drag of you know that big chain on the other side for the motor it's like you're just constantly like you know like you can't just like cruise and coast on it. Like you're just constantly pedaling, pushing through it. So I don't know. It was kind of cool. Fun while it lasted, fun little project. But uh, yeah, I want to try an e-bike now. But that's probably going to wrap up this video because I'm sure this is already way too long. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.